My father started this back in 1964, and it grew into the company it is today. There's a lot that comes with running a company like this. It's a great responsibility. My father passed it on to me, and I, I don't take that lightly. It's so important to us to keep the values that we believe at work, at home, at church, in the community. As you walk in the door, you can smell sometimes a cherry or the red oak that they're cutting at the time, making cabinet doors, door parts and things. Conestoga is, is unique in the fact that it's a, it's a family-owned business. My father started the business on Christian principles and Christian values, and it's something that we even wrote into our creed, that we want the business to continue to be founded and continue to run on those principles. Those values are inseparable. I can't live a life in church and then live a life at work. It's the same, it's who I am. Our employees see that. I've heard multiple comments from employees saying that they enjoy working for a company that, that stands for what it does. Lancaster County is a unique place. So many people came to Pennsylvania for religious freedom. In particular, there were Mennonites from Switzerland and Germany that moved to Lancaster County in the early 1700s. My family was among them, and uh, so were the Hans going there specifically for religious freedom, and they kept their way of life. They started out nearly 50 years ago. They're approaching their 50th anniversary, hanging cabinets themselves. They hung the cabinets in the home where I grew up. And to be able to serve their community by employing a thousand, nearly a thousand people, giving them jobs, to hear their heart over and over again for their employees and their employees' welfare, it's amazing. What's important to Conestoga is developing a very good product to its customers, but also maintaining and developing a very good work environment for the employees. I know them, some of them personally, and they're, they're good, good friends. We're, we're humbled that God blessed us to such a degree to allow us to have a company like this that we can run for His honor and glory. It's not the Hahn family. It's, it's our whole company. It's the employees and we're running it for, for the honor and glory for God. Good afternoon. Earlier today, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act. I did it because I believed it was good for the country. I did it because I believed it was good for the American people. The HHS mandate, known commonly to people as Obamacare, forces families who operate a business to cover uh, drugs and devices that uh, induce early abortions, uh, that have to do with sterilization and contraception, in violation of these families' sincerely held religious beliefs. And the cost of not doing so are fines in the millions of dollars. When the mandate came out and, and we heard about it, we knew that we had to comply based on how the law was. It was particularly troubling for us to understand that we would need to require our health insurance policies to include in it contraceptive that would cause abortions or be abortifacient. Prior to the Affordable Care Act, the Hans were providing outstanding insurance to their employees. And one of the things that made it outstanding is the kind of preventative care that they were covering. Norman Hahn was almost in tears as he was speaking to us about the, the moral dilemma that this, that this was creating for them. My father said, you know, he came to me and said, Anthony said, um, this is a, an issue. And I said, yeah, I, I'm not sure what to do about it after talking through that for a period of time that we felt there was really no other decision to make. We weren't going to facilitate uh, the taking of human life. From the get-go, it was difficult because Mennonites don't go to court. Here they needed to go to court to be able to protect their rights. They've been trying to live their lives so thoroughly consistent with their religious faith. Now, for the first time, the government is telling them that they can't, and instead they're the enemy of the state. Why is the government picking a fight like this?
When we went to meet with the Hans initially to talk about what could be done with the, with the HHS mandate, on their desk was a magazine from Alliance Defending Freedom featuring the Hercules case. That inspired them to think that this case was winnable, that it was worth pursuing. It was interesting to see where they were looking for information, where they were looking for hope. It was the Alliance Defending Freedom. Very few cases make their way to the Supreme Court. This particular case is going to have far-reaching impact for people in the modern age to be able to live out their Christian lives. They, in essence, decided to take a stand, not only for their own family and employees, um, but for all other families out there who are faced by the same uh, intrusive government regulation. The Supreme Court has said that a closely held company like Hobby Lobby or Conestoga Wood can be exempt from the contraceptive coverage of Obamacare. We are so glad that Alliance Defending Freedom stood up to help us with this. We just had nothing but a lot of good things happen through this. Alliance Defending Freedom has been God's grace to us as attorneys in being able to take a case like this and be able to do the case well. We have these freedoms. We should all have a right to continue practicing those freedoms. This is a First Amendment right that we as a country, we as Christians, we as Mennonites hold very dear and we think we should be allowed to continue to practice that without the government telling us that we can't.